Hi, Ryan Michael Galloway here with We Don't Need No Stinking Record Company .com. and uh, I've been getting some questions lately about traveling and traveling with equipment. Um, I guess let's start with the stuff that you might take on the airlines with you. Um, I've got some friends that I've just made over in the UK and they're going over to Seattle and uh, uh, so Dee this is a little bit for you. I know we've talked about it some via email but um, so as, uh, as you travel, uh, I'm most concerned about your stringed instruments, your bass guitar, uh, your guitars, your regular six, six string guitars. Those things, when they're strung up to full tension, have about 600 pounds of pressure. Bass probably has even more than that. Um, the issue is, um, I guess, you're trying to reduce the chance of, number one, any da damage happening to the instrument in the first place, and number two, if it does happen, for it not to spread. And so what I recommend is taking the tension down on all your instruments. Uh, you know, make those those strings just flap in the breeze. You don't have to take them off, but bring them down to a, a very, very low tension so that you can like pull them, you know, pull them away from the, the body and the neck of the guitar without any problem. So that they're not creating a whole lot of pressure on that neck that's gonna uh, <clears throat> cause it to be snapped from pressure changes and more likely from being banged around. Secondly, do everything you possibly can to carry those guitars aboard the plane. Um, I don't know if you've uh, watched how bag handlers uh, uh, handle the, the uh, stuff that they're uh, throwing around, but it's almost like they're trying to break it sometimes. I've had particular difficulty, I hate to say it, with American Airlines and uh, a couple others that I've gone on, but American has been definitely the most destructive of all the airlines that I've flown on. So that's my anti-endorsement for American. Um, I, uh, I will say though, from time to time I've met some folks at American that have been very gracious about helping me get the plane, uh, get the uh, equipment on board the plane. And so maybe that kind of uh, evens it out a little bit. Uh, but particularly now, uh, it's very difficult to, to bring stuff on um, that's that's oversized because everybody's since 9/11 everybody is trying to bring on everything they possibly can and not check it through because of the extra charges and uh, um, you know extra problems with that and so uh, um, since all the baggage um, on board the plane is is uh, so heavy and there's so much of it there's not a lot of room for a guitar and what I do is I use a Yamaha silent guitar and I take the brackets off of it. All I have is a neck. I wrap that in a towel, believe it or not, bring it with me under my, my uh, arm, and uh, that can slip in just about anywhere. Very easy to slip that one in. Okay. Um, so uh, if you do have to check the bags through, it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you a lot, uh, particularly if it's an amplifier and it's heavy. But you want that stuff to go into the most... Uh, both rugged and lightweight cases as you possibly can. Uh, guitar cases, expect them to get it destroyed to, to a certain extent. Do not send anything through in a gig bag uh, or uh, in a you know, cardboard sided uh, um, a case. Uh, you know, make it one of those fiberglass cases and just take the, the hit on the fact that that 80 or 90 or $100 case is going to get somewhat destroyed on the trip. It just is. Uh, it's just going to get beat up badly. That, that's all, all I can say, but better that than your guitar. And uh, certainly anvil cases uh, or things like them um, are, are great, but uh, they're very tough. They're also extremely heavy, and there may be extra charges for that. Some of my advice for taking it on the road, at least uh, to the sky, I am Ryan Michael Galloway, and we don't need no stinking record company.com.